Good morning, guys. This is Sharon from the House of Prayer. As you know, I started um, with the House of Prayer about three years ago, but I'm not really sure exactly when because I was just coming out of my head injury and then the Lord started talking to me about building the House of Prayer outside and, and started to build my channel well, I call it God's channel, which is still the house of prayer. But during the beginning, God put me with other YouTubers to get to know and to get me started because I didn't have a clue what to do. So I figured out the first part, but other people really came into my life to help me. One particular woman who was talking to me about things wasn't going to be a rapture and that we already have been living through the tribulation that was total nonsense to me because of my relationship with God and how I grew up so I turned off this person and deleted her from my contact list and I haven't heard any more mention about what she's been putting out there, but I think that she is on a different platform than YouTube. So over the past few weeks, I again started hearing people say that we are going to see the glory of Jesus coming soon and there wasn't going to be a rapture and it was the biggest trick played on humanity and Christians. Well, that just totally set me off. Oh, my God. I've just almost been in mourning over that. Jesus wasn't going to come and save us. We had to save ourselves. Now, granted, we have been lied to by the politicians for hundreds of years, and we had no clue that we had been sold out to the crown of England with the act of 1871. Now all of this stuff was brand new to me and I shared it with you and how everything was done for money and we were slaves to the government. So okay, my eyes have been open to that. And that President Trump put a stop to that 16-year plan to kill us and many people. So that administration was pulling off the biggest thing operation to take down the cabal. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago and how he never left office and he's been running it behind the scenes. And the one person, or is not a person, our Lord and Savior above all, has been planning this operation for a long, long, long time. So, when I was running across these words over and over again, I became upset because I believe what God said and the teachings of Jesus. And I was raised, you know that, on all of these teachings and having faith on God and everything in the Bible. Plus, I had heard so many stories of people dying and meeting Jesus and then returning to earth to finish out their mission that he gave them. Even heard about the atheists dying, meeting Jesus, and how their life was changed, and they were told to warn the people about Jesus returning to take his bride to heaven. One of my grandmothers would say to me that she wanted to be raptured and we would giggle and laugh together and talk about being raptured together. Well, unfortunately, she died a long time ago, but that has still been playing in my head over and over. We would talk about seeing our relatives and friends that went on before us and I even told you of a dream I had recently about being in heaven. And I saw my mom 
and my two grandmothers sitting on a large veranda. And that same grandmother spoke to me, and then the dream ended. But it was so good seeing them. So for the past few days, I told Colby, who you know is Bayou Preacher, that I needed to hear God tell me what was going on because the only way I would believe anything is by God telling me directly. Remember the video I put out recently about don't be fooled about anything? They would say Jesus is over here or no, he's over there or he's in a secret place. Well, to me, he's always in my secret place. But that's where I pray. My prayer and worship time for two nights in a row, I mean to tell you that I was crying and asking God to tell me what was going on. I said I was looking forward to the rapture after seeing Jesus' face that I wanted to see my family in heaven. So I went to sleep after that. Oh, and I kept saying, they're talking about the Jesus strand that Jesus married Mary Magdalene and had two children by her and how they had to hide her. All of this is nonsense to me. Going by the Bible, none of this stuff ever happened. And even the prophecy that Sister Vicky put out a few weeks ago, it was talking about how Jesus had to deal with all the things that we have to deal with. And he had to check himself because being part human, part spirit, you know, he had to deal with those issues. So there is no way in this world I'm going to believe that he did any such thing. And I went to him and I said, well, look, Jesus, if you did, I understand, you know, and I don't care if you did or you didn't. I just need to know from you what to believe. So, Jesus woke me up at 5 o'clock yesterday morning after two nights of crying and pleading for him to please tell me what's going on. Let me see if I can find the place. I'm sorry. I have it here somewhere. Okay, so Jesus woke me up at 5 o'clock. And he told me these words. I am who I said I am. Who do you say I am? My word does not come back to me void. Do not believe new things that are coming out of others' mouths. I did not marry on earth and have children. When I went away, I said I will return to you in the air. You will come back as my bride, you will see your family on that day. I mean, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, guys. That's exactly what I had been praying for him to tell me. Maybe not in those words, but, you know, he, he said them. So I immediately got up to get my notebook and my pen and turn on the light, which is always right beside me because whenever he wakes me up or has something to say, I can just write it down because I will forget what he said because of my memory. So, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I have it all written down here. Um, I, well, I did say that. I had this, I'm kind of telling you different from how I wrote it but that's okay. Um, so, I want to go to Exodus 3, 14. And that's when God said, I am who I am. God said to say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent you. In Matthew 16, 15, Jesus said, but what about you? Jesus asked, who do you say I am? And Matthew 24, 29 to 31. Immediately after the stress of those days, 
The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then all the peoples of the earth will mourn when they see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elite from the four winds from one end of to the other, from the from one end of heaven to the other. Now, saints, we do not know the time, the hour, or day. Only God the Father knows. I have heard prophets calling for it to happen soon. I know that God has given me the sense of urgency to finish the house of prayer. So I just want to say be blessed and keep your eyes turned towards heaven for Jesus to appear to take his bride home. Hallelujah and praise the Lord.